Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michael. I'm the developer behind Oka Software. We make game assets for Unity. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, I wanted to show off the LCD shader that I had created for Unity. This is designed for Unity 2020.3, but it works on all versions of Unity up to the current version. Um, and so this is a really cool shader. Let me just zoom in really quick, show you guys what it can do, and then talk about some of the changes and customiz customizations that you're able to get with this product. So um, first off, like you can see here, we have a static image. If you zoom in, you can see the scan lines, the micro display noise, um, desaturation occurring and contrast reduction occurring as you uh, get to deeper and deeper viewing angles. And you also have those sub pixel details as well. And you can also do this with video content as well. So you can see here, I've imported this video from Pexels. And um, if you zoom way in, you can see that we're using these cyan, magenta, and yellow colors as the RGB di diodes for this video content. Um, and you can see slightly less scan lines going on here as compared to here with, um, this one's like a little bit more cyberpunk, um, a little bit more dark and, and dim, whereas this one's more bright, colorful, um, and the diodes themselves are actually a lot bigger. So um, <clears throat> you can actually go ahead and customize these as well. So I'll start off by customizing the, uh, the static one. So you can see here we have um, some scan line tiling settings um, where we can control you know, how uh, dense are the scan lines on the screen. Um, you can customize the speed and direction of the scan lines as well. If you want them to move really fast or really slow or like super slow or even not at all. Um, and you can also customize the, um, the scan line intensity. So you can turn them way up, bring them way down, whatever, even make something really weird or cool like this. Um, and I think that's really unique and a really interesting kind of feature that you can get um, here that you're not really able to get on, uh, you know, other other assets like this. So just set this back down to something quite small, like 0.1. Um, and you also have this micro noise setting as well. Um, so this gives you a lot of control over uh, how the asset kind of looks when you're zooming in and doing things like that. So let me just pop in uh, here again. And you can see that the image on the left is actually loading uh, this video um, from a source URL. So um, that's really super cool, something that you're not really able to get um, from a lot of screen shaders. Um, and so it really gives you a lot of options if you do want to include video content like that. So going back to this image here, so um, another thing that you can do is change out the diode arrangements. So here we have a blue, green, red. Um, diode arrangement, but I've included in here a bunch of different ones like BGR, CMY, RGB, YMC, and you can see that those kind of change the source color um, as well. And if you go in here, you can also change the border style of the individual diodes. So if you zoom in really close, you can see the diodes kind of have this particular border style, um, but you can change them. And this gives you really different looks when you zoom in um, or zoom out. Something like this is quite interesting as well. Where we have that negative color going on. Um, and so yeah, there's tons of options. We have 12 different border styles, um, five different diode arrangements, and you're able to author all of those yourselves and uh, include them yourself as well. Uh, you can also customize the viewing angle. So you can see here that the viewing angle quality can change. Oops. You can change the viewing angle quality, the chroma loss at different viewing angles, the brightness loss, and the hue shift. And these are all designed to replicate um, you know, real screen uh, results that happen when you come to different viewing angles on a real screen. So we looked at some scientific data that people pulled from um, looking at different displays at different angles, and they do have chroma loss, brightness loss, and hue shift effects. Um, and you're able to model these based on um, you know, scientific data that's being pulled. And you can also control the screen brightness flicker rate um, and the flicker intensity as well. So if you want the screen to flicker you know, really quickly and super intensely like that, you can do that. Um, or you can you know, have it set quite low. Um, and you can also tint this screen as well. So just a ton of different you know, controls here and you can um, you know, control a lot of these different settings uh, as well yourself. 
We can also change the fade distance for the diodes so that they fade in um, you know, more closely or more further. And um, you can also change the diode scale as well. So if we go in here, let's bring this back to default color and then change the diode scale to something really big, right? Let's say 100 by 200. So I have these big, thick, oddly spaced diodes. And you can see them kind of fade in and fade out. You can control that distance so that the diodes are present for quite a far distance or not. Okay, um, so that is um, the LCD shader that we've created for Unity. Uh, we really hope you enjoy, um, and I'll include a link in the description below so that you can check out more information about it. Thanks for watching.